Hi all, welcome to my channel, welcome to my world, this is The World of Wayne and happy Wednesday. Um, as you can see, really good Wednesday today, but for me, I'm probably somewhere around about North Carolina right now, so this is just the ghost of me presenting this at the moment to you. We're going to be doing the next part of the Poker Ducati Final Edition 1299R. I've said that completely out of order. <laughs> Okay, the bike is just there at the moment and it's going to stay there because today we're going to be working on the forks and the front wheel, which is pretty much one of the most iconic things on the bike. Once we've got these done, then uh, obviously we're going to start putting this together. The whole bike is now starting to come together. Now, I was meant to start this filming about an hour ago, but I thought I was missing some pieces. I was looking for some washers and I was looking for some little clips and I couldn't find them anywhere and I ripped the box apart. And it wasn't until I noticed that the pieces I need are actually on a flat, sort of like photo etch here. So uh, I actually need WSO1, but I also need CCO1. And this is WSO1, these are CCO1. So uh, panic over, we can actually get on with this now. So without further ado, let's get cracking. So it's all gonna start with these massive uh, piston tubes here. Now these are turned in brass, all metal, and they look just like that. We have got two of these, but I'll work on one at the moment because it's gonna be similar, similar on each one. Now I also need sprue J here, which I've got, because I need some washers off of this. Got me sprue cutters, and it's basically J37. So just looking around everything we got here, we want nothing off the sprue. <laughs> Typical, they're in this bag here, look. J37, so uh, that's what we need. I'm also gonna need P-screws. So the first thing I'm gonna do, let's get these washers out here. So at the moment, I've got this section here, the washer, a screw. I'm gonna need the section that's gonna go inside this. That looks just like this. Uh, this section is DSO2. Again, this is a solid piece of metal, this is. Looks nice, doesn't it? And the last thing we need is we're gonna need a spring. These are SP01 and they come in this bag here. And then finally, the linkages that these go on. We've got the left side and we've got the right side. They are stamped L and R here. Okay, so we want it this way around. This is gonna be the top section here, which means this feeds down the bottom here like that. What we need to do though, is put a spring on. There you go. Feed this down the bottom like this. And then we're gonna to need to put a lot of tension on that. So we're able to put this washer in the top here, and then put one of the P screws in the top. So I'm holding this down as much as I can. Get this in, and just screw this all the way in. Now to make it easy for you, it's probably best to actually put the screw in the washer beforehand. So, now I've done that, we can put that down here. And as you can see, that has engaged with the bottom here and that piece is now in place. As you see, it can't come out. I am just gonna tighten that up as much as I possibly can. So that's in there, no problems at all. We're gonna take the left-hand side fork first. And quite simply, this is just gonna fit into the end, mirroring what you can see there. And it's being held in on this side with an A screw. So that is one completed side of the fork. And we're gonna repeat that on the other side. A few moments later. So, there you go, both of those completed. Put them to one side, because now we're gonna be making the brake discs. So for that, I'm gonna start with BD01, and I'm also going to need this internal section here. This is metal, this is DCB09, and it looks just like that, because it's going to match the internal structure there. So as you can see, we've got holes all the way around it there. So the easiest way to do these is to basically take uh, the uh, little clips that we've got to put in here and we're just going to lie this over the top like this. There you go. And then we're just going to be slipping one of these washers, that these are the parts that I lost, uh, in to each one. So I'll put three in for the minute just to hold that into place. So I need a washer and a clip. Let's get three of these out. Washer, and a clip, and one more. Washer, and a clip. There you go. Bring that back over, 
And what we're going to do, just put a washer over the top of that there. Grab a clip. And we're just going to slot that in above the washer. I'd like to tell you it's easy, but uh, yeah, it's not. <laughs> Use some pliers just to push that all the way in. And there we go. That's the first clip in. And then we're just going to repeat that for the three that I put in. And then I'll just put the ones that I'm missing in. So a washer and then a clip. Again, my pliers do help with just pinching that together. Like that. Let's just do the last ones. So that's two done. We can put these to one side and bring over these absolute massive sections here of the front wheel. And the way these are going to go on is so that this section here, which as you see is coming out, is actually going to be facing down into the wheel there. So it's going to look just like that. And that's held in with uh, size C screws just around the middle here. And it's going to take five of these just all around that center spindle. So I'll get all of these in. So I'm just finishing off the second side of that here. And I think you can see now why there's so much detail just in this front section here. But to be honest with you, the front forks and the wheel is probably where your eye is drawn to first on this model. So you can imagine why there's so much detail in this section. But uh, this is all metal. And even turning it in my hands <laughs> is... Uh, quite heavy so when I put both of these sections together it's going to be very uh well it's going to add the weight that's for sure anyway that is all of those c-screws in place now I'm bringing over the eye sprue here because I'm looking for I-20 which is just this little detail here now I-20 is the valve for the wheel got that here and basically these are going to go together like this. Now you see this notch here. This is where that valve is going to go. So when this is together like this, this valve is actually just going to be inside this section. So this is going to be a little bit tricky to put both of these together. I think what I'm going to do, just to help me out with this, is I'm going to dob just a little bit of glue there. Not a lot. Just to keep this valve in. Now the valve... Here is facing towards these open screw holes here. So that's going to go in just like that. You see, it's going to hold it long enough for me to put this side in, making sure I've matched it off with this side here. Just like that. Perfect. And you can see the valve in there. And we're going to hold this in with P screws. So I'm now going to go get the... Uh, wheel which is a01 putting that down gently there so i've brought over the tire i've had to put it in a saucepan because it's so big uh, it's very very hard so that's why i'm putting it in water so i can uh, loosen this up a little bit because we're going to want to put this over the tire here but when we're doing it we really don't want to put too much pressure on these interior discs here because they are quite brittle uh, so we're going to Sort of like hold it like this and put it in. Let's see how that goes. Let's put this to one side and get a cloth down. Now there is a direction that this is gonna go on. And basically when I feed the uh, rim here into here, I want these um, screw holes to be facing up. And I also want when I put the tire down here, there's one side which has got an arrow on it. I want that side to be facing up as well. So basically when I put it in, I'm putting it into the side that's got the arrow. So let's do this, take this out and then we'll feed this in. But I said, I'm trying to feed it in just like this without pushing that middle bit there. See how easy that was? No problems at all. And there we go. Front wheel on, <laughs> excellent. Okay, we're gonna be attaching this now to the uh, bars. But before we do that, we do have a couple of decals to put on. Now the decals are these ones at the top, WD 10 and 11. The instructions are actually wrong on this. They label them wrong, but uh, you'll be able to figure out which ones go what way. 
Now, I don't know how many. They gave us two sets here. I'm wondering if one's for the back there. But I've got the ones here for this wheel. So I'm looking for that arrow, and this is the way round it's going to go. So what we're going to want to do is where the valve is, which I'm just finding here, we're going to be putting one of these strips just along this inner wall here, I believe. So it looks like that. And just do the same on the other side. And there we go. Happy with that on both sides. All good. So I'm gonna be taking the left fork now, which is this one here. And I'm gonna be putting the caliper on this. Now the caliper is DCF34. And that is in here. So I'll get this out. So we've got some tiny details to actually go on this, which uh, I'm just gonna get off now. Now these details are gonna be glued in to here. So I'm gonna take this detail here, and that's just gonna go in like this. Perfect. We want J10, which is going on this spindle just here. Just like that. And then these ones will be going in once I've screwed these in. So let's bring over this left fork, which is this one. And the caliper is just going over the top like that there. That's gonna be held in with C screws. So one here, and one in the other side. And then we can just put these little caps over the top. and push them in. They are gonna to need to be glued into place. We're gonna do exactly the same on the other fork. Now in the caliper on this side is exactly the same. It's a slight difference though that we have got the addition of I-18. So we've got two points coming off of this one here. So attach this all together. I'm gonna to have it this way round with the arrow pointing this way, going clockwise. Take the right hand side uh, fork and that's gonna be going over the rim, over the disc, should I say, the rim, hark at me. Just gonna gently put that in there. There you go. And then I have got this massive metal brace here, which is gonna go through that. This is DCF25. That's gonna go through both sections here and out the other side. We'll take the left side, and in a similar fashion, we're gonna put that over the disc but we are gonna be putting this little lifter in between this section. So this is gonna go on top, just like that there. Oh, other way around, like that. Then this fits over the top here. I'm aware I'm only on one camera now. This has taken quite a lot of time. And then we're gonna be putting a size A screw just through the top. And then the last thing we do on this side here, we're just gonna be putting this cap just like that. So I'll get this in. I think this is just a push in actually. Just have a look. I will put a touch of glue in there. And in true World of Wayne fashion, I have forgot one screw, which is an X screw, which I'm just loading up here. Because that bar that's gone through here, the one we put here, we do need to hold it into place. So we've got an X screw just to put underneath here to keep that into place. And there you go. That's what that's looking like. Pretty cool, huh? That was only two pages of instructions, but that's taken me almost two hours to do that. But I'm sure you'll agree. <laughs> that's look impressive, doesn't it? And obviously it uh, works, as you can see. <laughs> anyway, I really do hope you like that video. Once again, if you wanna get this for yourself, I'm not sure where it's still available at the moment. So what my recommendation is, if you just Google the poacher, P-O-C-H-E-R or poker, I think it's called, uh, Panagali R1299 Final Edition, hopefully you'll be able to find some of these stocks if you want to build this for yourself. But I really do hope you liked that video. If you did, please remember to give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed already, please remember to subscribe. Other than that, take care.